Hi again, I'm John Nielsen with Wing Chun Hall, here to discuss Wing Chun, your best self-defense option. And today, I'm reviewing Augusta Products Iron Body Dummy. Janice Kwong and Dan Kapner of Augusta Products contacted me recently and asked if I would be interested in reviewing their new Iron Body Dummy. I said, of course, and about two business days later, the dummy arrived. Augusta Products Iron Body Dummy is made of, surprise, hollow metal, which makes it surprisingly light and satisfying to hit. They have solved the problem of bulky pads on standard dummies by making the 6.5 inch diameter body about a half inch thinner in diameter than most and then adding about a quarter inch padding all around. I don't know what the secret is to such thin padding but it absorbs the force of a strike very well and produces a satisfying crack from a soft palm. Also, the pads don't slip and turn as much as the thicker pads I've used on wooden dummies. The dummy itself is 65 inches or 5 foot 5 inches tall, which is standard. However, the holes for the upper, middle, and lower posts are all cut at least one setting too high for me. The upper posts should be level with your center of mass when you are in your stance, but these come to about the level of my shoulder. I'm average height, so I imagine this dummy will be too tall for most. However, if Augusta Products will cut the holes at different heights, say 2 inch increments, maintaining the same ratio to accommodate people of average, short, and tall stature, this problem would be solved. Customers could order according to 4 or 5 different height categories. This brings us to the mount. I believe there are three main types of dummy mounts and variations on those types. The berry dummy, the wall mounted dummy, and the free frame dummy. Probably the original berry dummy is the most versatile mount since it provides stability while allowing for movement in any direction. However, it requires outdoor space and exposure to the elements. The wall mount dummy provides stability and two dimensional spring. However, it requires lots of wall space and secure mounting materials. The free frame dummy lacks stability and spring. The frame can be weighted for added stability, but I find that you always have to limit the force with which you strike it. The iron body dummy uses the suction cup mount, which is a variation on the buried dummy. There are 12 2.5 inch suction cups attached to two metal plates bolted to the base of the dummy. If you install the suction cups correctly, they provide a secure springy mount which best approaches the buried dummy and can be mounted indoors, thus overcoming the drawbacks of the buried dummy. However, each of the other mounting systems allows for individual height adjustment. No such adjustment can be made with the suction cup mount, which is why I suggest manufacturing the dummy to accommodate different heights. Also, in my experience, the suction cups will eventually fail after intense use. Fortunately, they're inexpensive and easy to replace. The way I understand it, Augusta Products offers a warranty period for parts that fail, and after that period, Janus assures me they'll be providing a catalog of replacement parts. The upper and middle wooden posts provide a hard surface with give, which is best for toughening bones and skin. The top posts are offset so they can be adjusted to varying ratios. All posts exit the dummy at 90 degrees and taper distally from approximately 2.5 to 1.5 inches in diameter. This is a perfect ratio and allows the practitioner to maintain his wedge as he strikes the dummy. They are secured with wooden pegs which hold them close to the dummy body. However, the posts should have more play so I suggest moving the pegs back about a quarter of an inch. This leads to another potential problem. You have a thin piece of metal contacting a softer piece of wood under pressure from several directions. It won't be long before the metal cuts deep into the wood, especially if you give it more play, as I suggest. This problem could be solved by expanding the holes and inserting plastic grommets, giving the wooden posts more support and allowing them to slide back and forth more freely. The lower wooden post is approximately 2.5 inches square and also exits the dummy at a 90 degree angle with another 120 degree angle about 7 inches from the body. The joint is tongue and groove held together with two screws. Here I suggest a design change. By cutting the anterior hole lower than the posterior hole, the lower post could exit the dummy at approximately 110 degrees. I also suggest that the joint constitute a 130 degree angle. This would accommodate more comfortable kicking, providing more body surface and a more comfortable contact surface for leg techniques. I would also suggest that Augusta Products instruct buyers to laminate the joint with industrial strength glue before use using the screws only until lamination is complete. I cracked my post the first time I used it. I was pleasantly surprised by the way the Iron Body Dummy feels and responds to force. At $369 with free and fast shipping, it makes for a great dummy for any student of Wing Chun and any other combat system. It's more fun to hit than my free frame dummy, and I suspect with a few alterations, it'll be my favorite dummy yet. Thanks for watching again. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and support, and I'll see you next time.